Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a digital magazine in Canva. The first thing you want to do once on your Canva account, you're going to tap on the search bar. And I want you to type in digital magazine. After you have done that, you can see that you have over 20,000 different templates that you can choose from. And this is one of the major standout features of Canva, as with these templates, you'll be able to create a digital magazine in no time that looks professional. So you can scroll through and you can select whichever one of these templates you like to use. Keep in mind that the templates with the crown that says Pro, you need to be a paid subscriber on Canva to use those particular templates. But don't worry, there are numerous templates that you can use for completely free. Now let's say for example sake I wanted to use this template. I could select the template, then tap on customize this template. After you have done that, you are going to be redirected to this page. The first thing I want you to do is go down to the bottom right hand corner and you are going to simply pull along the slider to increase the zoom. I normally do this so that I can get a better view. Once you have done this, you can now start making your changes. So for example, you can change it right here. So you could change the text to whatever you want. You can also change the image. So I could select this image that is currently there, then go over to the left hand menu option and you could select uploads. After selecting upload, you could tap on upload file and you could upload the image that you'd like to use. But I'm going to be using one of their copyright free images. So I'm just going to select elements then I'm just going to type in technology. Then let me see the different technology photos. And let's say I were to use this one, I would just drag and place it as you can see right there. After doing that, you can scroll down and you can continue making more changes. And by the way, you can also add a page if you want. So you could tap on add page. Then you could go over to the left hand menu option and tap on text. And you could drag and place a text box. And you can add in your text as you can see here. Another thing you can do, you can go to the top left hand corner, tap on design. After selecting design, you could tap on styles. And then from there, you can see different color schemes that you can choose from and different font styles that you may combine and so on. So you can also explore those options if you want to create something even more stunning. And another thing that I should also tell you, if it is a case that you would like to create a table of content. So for example, if I were to go back into the templates page, just for example, sake, and let's say I were to hover over this, this one right here, you can see that it has a table of content. If you would like to create a table of content that is clickable, you can do that also. So for example, sake, I would use this page and I'm going to call this my table of content. So I can type in table of content right here. Now to create a table of content page is quite straightforward. First, you'll need to go over to the left hand menu option, tap on text, then you're going to add a text box. And after doing that, you're going to need to label all pages. So for example, you can label page one. So page one would be the cover. Then let's say page two is intro. And then page three would be the table of content. So you're going to tap right where you see page three, you could put table of content and you can continue going down. Now to make it clickable, you'll simply select the text. Then after you have done that, you're going to tap on the link icon. Once you have tapped on the link icon, you can scroll down and you're going to see all of the pages that are on your magazine. So we can select page two for example sake, then tap on done. So now once someone comes onto the table of content and tap on this text, they'll be redirected to page two. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on share in the top right hand corner. Then you can choose to download it. So you could tap on download right there and you could download it. What I would recommend you do is simply scroll down and you're going to tap on more. After selecting more from there, you're going to scroll down a bit further and I want you to select the option right below design. You can either select high design flip books or simple booklet flip and this will allow you to create a flip book 
using your template. So you can select all th three pages, then you're going to tap on save. Once you have done that, you're going to give it a few seconds while it is preparing your design. Now that it has prepared our design, we can tap on view in Heisen Flipbook. And you can see it is processing our flipbook. So this is one of the best ways to share a digital magazine. So you can share it as a flipbook as you can see right there. And to do this, you can go over to the left hand menu option and save it. And then you'll be able to share it. Thanks for watching.